सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर प्रोजेक्ट लाइब्रेरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो वी वर डेवलपिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग जावा स्विंग एंड माई एस क्वेल सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिज़ाइन दिस लॉग इन पेज ओके एंड वी डिड नॉट डिड द कोडिंग पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू add one more jframe to that uh, project okay where these options would be um, provided okay so basically we would be creating a dashboard okay like uh, after logging into the account the admin, admin would be uh, like uh, the admin would go directly to to the dashboard where these options would be provided okay Uh, like uh, books available staff details add books and all these okay so let's start that so we will create one new gui form jframe click on next and let's give the name as uh, dashboard okay and so this is the gui and we will first add a label over here let's give the name as dashboard we can let's change the text font as bold and uh, 14 no 18 that would be better yeah dashboard and here we would be adding those buttons for these functions like uh, for these things okay so we need six buttons over here okay so let's add six buttons over here uh, i'll change its variable name to uh, b1 okay button one because we are going to have uh, like six buttons okay so we'll just give the name as b1 b2 b3 and i'm giving this b1 over here and after that i would be like just copying it copying and pasting it okay so i'll get the another one with the name as c its name would be b2 it automatically gives the name as b2 and again when i'll paste one more like c i'll copy this and i'll paste it over here see its name would be very b3 so like this i'll again copy this and paste it over here you can copy and uh, paste can copy and uh, paste so total how many total 6 we have got and its name is b6 okay so now i'll change its name to uh books available books available then its name would be given as let's give its name as uh what's the second thing that we are having staff details add books let's first take add books and remove books okay so edit text add books the third one would be remove books okay 
the fourth one would be staff details the fifth one is add staff let me check its length its length is fine and it has remove staff Actually, I can give this over here and I'll move this here. So, yeah, guys, I have uh, designed this. Uh, okay, and uh, let's add one more thing over here, one more button okay that would be like edit admin okay because uh, sometimes we need to there can be any uh, situation where the admin admin details need to be changed okay like the password or uh, uh, thing the admin has changed so a new admin uh, is uh, like appointed so his name has to be changed and passwords and all so for that reason we sh uh, we must have one this uh, option as well okay so i'll be adding this over here uh, and it text to edit admin okay and its uh, variable name would be like b7 okay so yeah and uh, now we can see it how it looks so where's the run file yeah so it will look like this okay i haven't done much of the you know uh, the designing part like uh, i've just i've kept it simple you can uh, give colors to it and whatever you feel like uh, the backgrounds you can change the backgrounds as well uh, according to your demands and uh, your uh, choice okay so i've just I, I thought of keeping it simple so i have kept it simple only so this is the thing so we have uh, till now we have done two things the login page that is here uh, this is the login page okay and the second thing is the dashboard page which is this one okay so we have done this so now in the next video we would be moving further with with the backend part okay uh, we have designed this now we will move to the backend uh, and that is the mysql uh, we would be giving the admin table book tables and staff tables and then after that we will come back to the front end where we would be uh, giving the exact codes okay the codes that are required so then we would be doing those things and uh, the things that would be there like after clicking uh, books available option what would happen and what would happen if i click on if the admin clicks on staff details so everything would be done after that after completing this mysql part okay so in the next video we will start with this for now i'll end up this video okay so thank you